Uh, so now we're going to go through some of our favorite buckle carriers. We're going to start with the Bico Gemini. The Bico Gemini for years has been our most popular and most recommended buckle carrier because it's really simple to use, um, it's really comfortable, it fits all adult sizes really well, you can use it from newborn, it's amazing price compared to most other carriers. So there's lots of reasons why Beko Gemini um, is so popular and why we love it so much. It comes in two options. This is a cotton one and this is an adorable new print called um, Floral Bath, which has got little people um, swimming in flowers. And then it also comes in the cool mesh version and they both come in you know lots of different colors so i just put this on for you and show you with a newborn baby well i think our doll's about like a six week sort of size and this will be um you know the first tip about positioning and wearing a newborn in a buckle carrier is you see i've got that really high up it's um higher than my hips and it's kind of like um even at, right above slightly my natural waist and the reason for that is when you're using a buckle carrier with a newborn, you don't want the carrier to come any higher than the bottom of the ears, otherwise it risks coming over the baby's face. And so pretty much want to position your baby in that safe position against the firm part of your chest, and then you want to lift the carrier up so that it's up to that position by the ears. And so when you wear the carrier high up on your over your waist like that, more of the carrier makes that little pouch under the bum and you get the good positioning um, and it'll fit just right. Whereas if you wear the carrier down lower, I'll show you afterwards, it will end up right over the baby's face and that's true of most buckle carriers. So we said you need bubble tape for newborn gentlemen? No you do not. So you can see it's got um some little snaps under here and that's to make it the newborn position so there's very few carriers now um, that you would need to buy a separate insert for we do sell the old ergo baby inserts um, because anyone who's got an old ergo 360 or an old ergo original still often we sell those um, and Tula standard carriers need one but unfortunately they don't sell you have to buy those from America now, which is really, the inserts, which is really unhelpful. Probably not going to stick that in here. Got myself in a slight tangle. <laughs> Just caught that somehow, but that's okay. Okay, so that's the um, Beko Gemini, and this is the cotton one. So the cotton one is slightly padded. Um, cotton on the inside and outside and it's really just beautifully soft I love it it's so cute with this little cotton here but you can see it's a really perfect fit baby's earways are really um, clear it's really well you can see it's got that really nice um, slightly curved spine the knees and hips are really well supported so you can see this is such a simple carrier to use it's really easy it's really nice and small it's really great for newborns Someone's asking you to drop it closer because they love the print one that pops on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So adorable. Yay. We've got all our viewers back as well. Oh, Sorry cool. Hi, viewers. Bit of technical difficulties. So they've all found out really late. Um, is there, so a few questions coming through. Um, is there a hood? No. So, today? actually, let me just put it back on. Mic. Oh. <laughs> so the Gemini doesn't have a hood. Um, it has um, a neck support which um, which you can put up. Generally, oh a bit clumsy today. Oh yeah, I didn't have my morning coffee. Mm -hmm. So if you're out somewhere and um, and baby needs to go to sleep, you can put this little neck support, which also as your baby gets taller, you can use it just to extend the size of the carrier and there you can see there I would with a newborn I would still keep one side down or I would um, have it up while they get to sleep but um, in terms and there's still plenty of airflow but for me personally I would probably put that down on one side 
once babies are asleep, just because I like to see the airway, but that will give them really good extra support by that. So yeah, there's no hood. You really don't need a hood um, on this carrier. It's really supportive and protective as it is. Age weight limit for the Gemini. Okay, so there's carry as well. Like what yeah, so they're kind of three to sixteen kgs or 15, 15 16 kgs. Mm. Um, so that's pretty much newborn. We had at our photo shoot last week. We had a three week old baby. Wow, so cute. Um, in the mesh version, um, sixteen kilos is probably about a two, three year old, depending on your size of your child. But width wise. Um, the reason, you know, the Gemini is a smaller carrier, which is why it's such a great option for newborns and up to probably, I don't know, probably about 18 months and over 18 months, you'll still be within the weight limit, but the width of the carrier, let's see if I can zoom out, the width of the carrier is on the smaller side, so you might just find that it's not, um, it'll be great for short trips, but if you're going for like a two or three hour hike, with a two or three year old, this is not going to be the comfiest option. But I'd say you'll get at least a good 18 months out of this carrier and it will be a really good fit. So that's the mesh version there. So the main difference with the mesh is it's got, um, it doesn't have the padding, so it's thinner. So um, possibly not as comfy, um, but much cooler because it's that um, UV protected, breathable mesh, um, this, and also the straps are quite a bit thinner. So the whole profile of this carrier is smaller. Um, so if you are bigger and you want a carrier which is littler, this is a good option. Okay, I'll just show you that thing about the, um, no, I won't do that. I'll just show it to you with a bigger baby in it. While you're doing that, so someone's actually asked, is it safe to wear with a 10-month-old forward facing? Um, I think the thing about forward facing is that by the time your baby's 10 months, its legs are going to be really quite long. Um, it's going to be really quite dangly no matter what forward facing carrier you choose and a 10 month old is getting quite heavy so for me as a consultant and as a mum I would say at 10 months it would be so much comfier for you and your baby if they're on your back um, not facing outwards so baby will be able to see over your shoulder um, ergonomically for you it will be so so much more comfortable I think forward facing, um, generally from probably around six months once your baby's got really good head support and then by about nine, ten months most babies are getting too big um, and their legs are kind of dangling down and parents are sort of starting to, kind of your centre of gravity, your, your balance goes off quite a bit more. It's like if you're wearing, if you're tramping and you've got your heavy backpack on your front it becomes a tripping hazard and and you're kind of having to overcompensate for that weight whereas a good tramping pack you know um is really close to you it's high on your back that's how you get the ergonomics right so yeah I, don't, I think I don't have a, a problem with um front facing from a you know some people are philosophically opposed to it but I think it's fine but just for really short periods and not with older babies like that because it'd just be so uncomfortable Is it good, is the Gemini good carrier for a bad back? Yeah, it's a really supportive carrier. And that's, you know, with the straps crossed as well is another really good way to distribute the weight. It's got a really good um, waistband. That's, as you can see, with the older baby. So that's in the wider position. And this is like a sort of four or five month old size. So you can see, it's just so quick to put on and it's so easy. That's the mesh version. So you can see it's it's just thinner, it sits closer against the baby and the shoulders are thinner as well. Excellent. Um, so, do I have a question? Um, someone's asked, is, well, in your opinion, a wrap or a Gemini self-destruction carrier better? Or oh, is there I think you need both. Or, yeah. um, <laughs> I think it depends what you like. Like, the, the feeling of a wrap is quite different, it's much closer for you and your baby of not using a carrier. You can, also you fit the wrap to your baby perfectly, whereas like the carrier, any carrier pretty much has like one or two positions and your baby's kind of 
it'll fit in there. So the carrier is also kind of bulkier, great for going for walks, great for the supermarket, great for kind of out and about, quick to put on, wrap is more comfortable. And, a, and always a wrap will be a better position for the baby because you wrap it to fit your baby perfectly. So, I don't know, for home a wrap is great, maybe a buckle carrier is better for out and about if you sort of wanted a, a simple explanation, but lots of people just have one and use it for everything. Excellent. And um, did you do the sleeping bag? Yeah, yeah. So the can you tandem wear with the juvenile? They've got a two-year-old. Yep. Or so they've got a two-year-old and an eleven-month-old. So like, think about space. I think if you've got if you've got an eleven month old, I wouldn't buy a Gemini now with an eleven month old. If you've already got one, yes, you could totally tandem with the toddler on your back and the Gemini on the front. Yeah. But I wouldn't buy it at that stage because the the real beauty of the Gemini is probably you know the time before eleven months. Um, so I would choose a, a different carrier if you were going to use it with an older baby. Yeah. Um, for tandem wearing. Another option could be something like something like this, which is a half buckle. So you put the waist on like a normal carrier. Whoops, I'm looking at the mirror, not at the camera. Cool. Um, but then the straps, like if you're going to have two sets of straps, something that's just fabric on the shoulders could be a better option. So you put the, the baby in the half buckle with the wrap straps and then you put your toddler in a um, toddler carrier over the top. So that's another option. There's many different ways that you could do it. Um, and yeah, it's really thinking about the compatibility of the straps and then also who do you have to get in and out more often. Generally people will put the baby on first and then the toddler on second um, because they tend to get you know in and out more often. Okay, so there have been a few questions about um, back support. So I just want to show you um, another one of our real favourite carriers, which is the Beko 8. This is the Beko 8, so it's like a giant version of the Gemini. This one will, um, has a 20 kilo weight limit, and the whole thing's just bigger, so it lasts probably till like a two, two and a half year old. And it has a really excellent lumbar support. And you can also use this one from newborn. It's got this little cushion in it. I just put that. Someone really skinny has been using this before. <laughs> There's a few questions from people while you're talking about that carrier on what you'd recommend for a soft structured carrier for an eight month old. Some of them eight month old, some of them nine month old. Yep. So we'll, like, we'll have a look at this one and then we'll yeah. have a look at my two favourite boba ones yep. because they're both really good for that yep. age. So there's the lumbar support there. Maybe. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so this is the newborn. So the baby just basically sits on that cushion, so that's what gets them up to that high position. Yeah, so if, if you know that you've got a back, a back issue, I would probably go for this one over the Gemini, but the Gemini is perfectly good for the sore backs as well. Okay, so with the little baby, the legs would actually still be in the carrier, just sitting on the cushion. You can see there. This one is super comfy, crossed straps, hips, um, lumbar support, nice wide waist. The waistband's even better in this one than the Gemini. Um, and this one's got the higher weight limit. So this is really for the Beko, Beko brand. This is really the top of the range, all singing, all dancing. And then it's got this cool feature here too. Um, where if it's cold, or if you just want it to match your outfit, you know. You can just pop that up so that um clothes off the mesh and then it's cosier. 
and it's got the same heat support, mix support as well. Okay, should we draw that um, Gemini yes. giveaway? So the Gemini floral bath is going to go to Chelsea Adams. Congratulations. Ooh. Right. So here's another, oops, dropping over my babies. Don't leave your babies on the floor. You can trip over this. This is the Boba X, and um, we're going to show you this one as a really, really good option. Um, for older babies, but also this one it fits beautifully from newborn. It's super adjustable in the height of the panel, can go from that height um, up to toddler height, and the width can go from, you see there, that's the toddler width, it's got little zip-on extenders, and you can take those off. So it's basically up to almost the size of a toddler carrier and then down to the size that's suitable for newborns. So you just whip those off. So if you want one carrier that fits everybody in your family, all the children, this would be the one. And then see here you can just micro-adjust that in to the newborn size. But actually we were looking at older babies, so I'll just put it about halfway along. Can you see that in there? Yeah, yeah from the. Yeah. Just change that on the Velcro. Lots of our carriers were at the photo shoot last week, and so the straps are all over the place. Someone says they absolutely loved our live videos. How amazingly informative they are. Mm -hmm. They're a bit rusty actually. I think this is only like our second or third one this year. There was that random one I did in my kitchen during the lockdown. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so here's my bigger baby. So this is about a five, four or five month old, so your baby will be a little bit bigger. But you can see here the um the way that you can adjust the height of this panel. You can just adjust this to fit up to the base of your baby's knee. Um, it's really easily. You can adjust this. Possibly I've got this a little bit wide. I was thinking of like a big old baby rather than the size of this extra baby. Um, let's put the straps on. And here's just another little tip for you. If you're using a carrier that's got the chest strap, do it on while the straps, do it while the straps are still loose and you can reach it and then tighten up your shoulder straps. Like that. I love that carry. Yeah. So good. I so, love that colour. Yeah. Is that just my jeans yeah, that I prepared looks, earlier? <laughs> so this carrier, you can get a really perfect fit. And of all the buckle carriers we sell, apart from the ones that are like actually wrapped fabric, like that black and white one I was waving around, um, the Boba X is amazing. It's got no padding in it. It's just two layers of light cotton fabric. So you really get much more of a feel of your baby. Whereas a lot of the more structured ones like... Um, Like this one, like this is an ergo baby, so rather than like the layers of the fabric you, that you can feel your baby, it's all like chunky padding and adjusters and all of that. So, um, yeah, we really love just how ergonomic this is for baby. It's really comfy for you. Whoops, I've got a bit of a hash of that shoulder strap there, which I can't really adjust now. But it's on. But yeah, so this Boba X, this would be our top pick. Um, for babies where you want it to fit from newborn up to, with the extenders, you could easily still wear this carrier with a three-year-old um, and, and kind of get it in a perfect fit all the way through by either adjusting the height or adjusting the width. So yeah. good. Such good value. You don't need to insert for newborn. No, insert. You just adjust the, this comes down to about that size for newborns and then mm -hmm. you can cinch this down to even shorter. So you get an amazing 
range of perfect fits, not just like one or two or three um, sizes. And then I'm just going to show you one more buckle carrier because I think we'll be kind of like needing a lie down soon. Yep. While you're doing that, Lou, there's, there's a question <laughs> just, a few just a few more questions. But yeah. um, a couple of questions have been coming through a few about transitioning to a back carry. Oh, yeah. So if we could show you that, that would be amazing. <laughs> How about? Okay. Okay, so this one is, um, this is our best value carrier. And when we had our photo shoot last week, I was reminded why I love this carrier so much. It's the Boba 4GS, and it's it's kind of like similar to like a Tula standard carrier or an original Ergo. It's just um, really, really simple, but we sell these for $149 every day in some of the um, colours. I think I got them 30% off, so whatever that makes them, mm. not very much, seven, I know, like $100 around hundred dollars which for a ergonomic high quality carrier is a ridiculously good price um, so you can see it's just one cotton panel and it has this little cushion which um, is the same as the cushion in the Beko 8 so it has a newborn position up to about three months can you see that cushion in the video yes yeah yep. um, so that's your newborn that's three to six months, and then after six months, you just take it out. So for those of you with that kind of eight to nine month baby, this is like ridiculously simple to use, and it will be a really good fit. Um, so like we had some babies at the photo shoot that were, um, what were they? It was in, were in this about kind of 10 months old. Yeah. Um, and the fit was so good, and it, we had mostly dads modelling. Um, it's quite wide in the shoulders, so it's not really a good fit if you're really petite, but if you're kind of average size or up. And in fact, you've used I it. Use, you're I pretty little, more. and yeah. I know Maria, one of our sleep coaches, she's quite small, yeah. and she's used the 4GS a lot with her um, three kids. Mm -hmm. So it is still a really good option, um, even for littler people, but particularly for, for, for dads with broad shoulders and that, this is an amazing carrier, and just you really can't beat the price. I just love it. It's so easy. It's you know, so small. simple. You just put it in, you know, in the car, great to whip out when you're going to the supermarket. You yeah. just whip it up and you're on and you're yeah. off. There's no messing around. No anything, flapping. So. Yeah, I think a lot of carriers now, um, they kind of have overcomplicated things, you know, and trying to get things. Like, I really love the way that the Rover X has done it. It's so subtle and so simple and it doesn't have lots of, extra kind of adjustments on it but some carriers are so over engineered and they're just not pleasant to use but you can see here the baby just sits um, and it's the cushion that gets them into that high up safe position and it's the cushion that supports their knees because the carrier is too big from about six months you don't need the cushion and then yeah you pretty much just put it on like this this is a new print called Universal, which is now available for a limited time. Have we gone off again? No. And just the same tip I gave you before, just um, do your chest strap and then tighten up your shoulder straps. And so you can see it's, um, it's super, super simple. It's really comfy. It's really easy. And for older babies, young toddlers can use this from newborn just on the little setting but um yeah i really love it particularly for kind of six months plus i think it's particularly if you just want something that's your budget's limited but you don't go for like a crappy one from a chain store um get even a second hand one of these you'll probably get for 50 bucks it's such a good carrier i way recommend a second hand one of these over any of the crappy brands that the chain stores sell because they're just not ergonomic, they're not comfortable. There's so many people coming back from ones they've bought in big stores that just are not nice to wear. Someone says, Brooke, if you're using it for a newborn, would you have baby's knees tucked in? Yeah, baby's knees would be in, um, I can show you actually. Oops. It doesn't have a hood. I didn't just see it it does have a hood. It does, yeah. it does have a hood, but I really hate the hoods, so I just always take them off. <laughs> they're like around the office or various places. <laughs> So here's our newborn baby, 
um, just sit them up on the cushion so they're nice and high. And then your knees will just kind of be into your tummy. Again, these are plastic legs, they don't really. So you won't really see, you might just see the edge of the feet. You can also wear that up a little bit higher and that will get the carrier down as well. Yeah, so the, um, the little feet will just be, you'll just feel them in the side of your tummy and then as baby's hips open up more, you know, then you'll start to see them out the side like that. But when the baby's really little, they'll just be sitting in probably on top of the waistband like that. Such a cute colour. We've got the love for the carrier actually. Yeah. Simplicity of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Questions? Uh, yeah, just the back carry. Yeah, yeah, we can and, do that. People wanting, we've had a few questions that came through in advance actually. We covered a lot of them off just in the general chit chat we've been doing, which is awesome. But the Boba and Vico are how to get on the back. I think basically it's the same concept no matter which yeah. carrier you're using. Yeah, so. exactly. So I'll just show you in this one. And um, is it toddlers or is it littler babies or? Oh, I think we've got some toddler carrier questions specifically for toddler carriers, but I think it's more around, you know, the 10 month kind of. And then we have a doll that size. <laughs> I'll show you with um, David. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Yes? Yeah. If you want to, if you want to lift David. Oh, David is a big this boy. Is David. And I'll never forget the time I knocked David off a shelf and he landed on my head. And he weighs a lot of kilos. So we think David's about the size of a 18 month old or a two year old. He's quite chunky. I have to say I haven't done this um, for a while. So I'm rusty and um, this is live. So just be gentle if I cock it up. <laughs> Practice it over a bed, I would say. <laughs> okay, so this is a technique called Walk Like an Egyptian, and we do have a video actually in this um, using a bow before GS. So we'll find the Walk Like an Egyptian video and post it for you. Um, key things you need the waistband slightly looser than normal because the baby, you're going to swivel it around. So just ease that off. You need your shoulder straps quite loose, like that, could probably be even a little bit looser, um, and you need your chest strap done up. But the main thing, um, as you swivel baby, you're going to do a hip scoot under this arm, right onto your back. The main thing is that the only reason the chest strap is there is to stop the shoulder straps falling off you. Don't rely on the little tiny chest strap to hold the weight of your baby because it's not designed for that. So first of all, we're going to go up with that arm, and I can feel I didn't loosen that off enough. Up with that arm, and down, under with that arm. So that's the walk like an Egyptian kind of thing. Um, don't drop your baby, even though the carrier's there, you're still holding your baby. So baby's going to go under this arm, wriggle, 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 hold, grab hold of this strap, and as you go around under there, pull on your shoulder strap. And lean over slightly, I find, because gravity is helpful. <laughs> you don't know. Thanks. <laughs> it's not too rusty after all. Not too rusty after all. Okay, so there you can see David's made it safely to the other side. We're going to just... Here's something else useful with these boba carriers that they're dual adjustable, so you can reach around... Um, you can tighten them from either end. Like so. That up there. Made it. So good. <laughs> So that technique up 
down like that, hip scoot swivel, tighten up. You can do that with any buckle carrier, but I just would remind you that um, this is just, do not rely on this because different carriers, if you put too much weight on that, it could come off. Um, don't let go of your baby and practice over a bed. So toddler carrier, there's a few things to consider. One is how big is your toddler? So um, you can see this is like an 18 month sized um, toddler on here. It's kind of getting um, so that it's, you know, running out of knee support. But once your child is a toddler, the whole knee to knee support is for comfort. It's not for ergonomics. So if your toddler is still within the weight limit of your carrier, and you still feel that it's secure, like you can see on this, it's still high up. The back panel is plenty supporting your toddler. So then this has got a 20 kilo weight limit. So for littler toddlers, something like this, the Beko 8 or the Boba X um, is still really a good option. Um, or something like the half buckle, um, where you can use the wrap straps to make more leg support. Um, as, your as your toddler kind of gets beyond sort of two years, still the Boba X with the leg extenders because that gives you, if you imagine on the side of here, you know, an extra whatever, however that, I think it's about an extra 10 cent, 8 or 10 centimetres more on each side. Um, so Boba X is a really good kind of in-between carrier, particularly if you want one from little baby up to toddler and we think you know from feedback from people who've got it up to three years Boba X is still really comfortable um, and then beyond that uh, so if you've got like a two-year-old um, a good rule of thumb whoopsie I just tripped over the baby um, a good rule of thumb is if your child is tall enough that they're wearing size two pants um, that's the rule of thumb we use to say when um, a toddler carrier, and Amelia's youngest, yes. has just gone into a toddler carrier. So you can see it's quite substantially wider. So like David here, he's not big enough for the toddler carrier. His legs are too short. Um, so yeah. that's a Becca toddler. That's our favourite toddler carrier um, because it's really, it's got really fantastic waistband. The straps are so comfy. Um, it's got some nice little shaping to it, and also um, the hood, the back panel has got just enough curve that it helps keep them in. And, and like, it's got the adjusters to pull them in even more secure. So Beko Toddler is, um, is our most recommended toddler carrier. I still use it a lot. In fact, I think I only got my Beko Toddler when Eddie was five, and we were overseas, and um, the lady who owned Beko... <laughs> We were chatting and she was like, oh, here, have my sample one. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And so for the rest of our trip, which was um, around kind of California, Disneyland, all of that, um, Eddie was in the, the, the toddler carrier at age five for many hours a day because like one night we were at Disneyland till midnight, so mm -hmm. not a lot of five-year-olds can yeah. last that distance. <laughs> um, yeah, so from sort of two to five or six years. Um, but you really need to meet that kind of threshold of the size two pants up. I found it really comfy because I've been yeah. using this for years actually, yeah. which is really yeah. And so, yeah, I tried the toddler and she was super comfy in it and she yeah. likes being on my chest. She's not yeah. a fan of the back carry. Yeah. And she, it was perfectly comfy for me. Yeah. Yeah. I, so good. And yeah. I think if you've got a toddler who still likes the front carry, you can cross the straps in the Beko toddler. Um, obviously when you're back carrying them you don't want to cross the straps because that will like squish your boobs in really unfortunate ways <laughs> but when you're front carrying a toddler being able to cross the straps um, on your back makes quite a big difference yeah, I might try that. yeah we also have other toddler carrying options as we're clearing all our Tula toddlers at 50% off um, so that's an option we don't like it quite as much as the Beko, but 50% off is hard to beat. <laughs> um, and we also have the Lenny Lamb preschool carrier, which goes from sort of one to four years, I think, from memory. Um, it's more adjustable. Um, it's more expensive because it's like handmade in Poland and so on. Um, so it's a wrap fabric rather than a cotton kind of drill fabric. So not as sort of durable, um, but a beautiful kind of high-end carrier.
um, and if you're in our baby wearing community group, um, Coralie, who now works here on Fridays doing um, fittings for us, Coralie tried it with her kids and found it really good. So you can read her review in our community group. So I think that's all I have to say about toddler carriers, but I have used a lot of different toddler carriers. Um, so if you've got specific questions, just put them in the comments or send them through as a private you know, message through our page and I can answer those. And Someone asking, can you do that next wiggle in any carrier? Yes, you can. can. Yeah, you can do it totally. You can do it with the um, toddler carriers. Um, there's also other ways you can, with older kids, you can pretty much just say, get on <laughs> and pull up the panel. The beauty of the walk like an Egyptian is that you can do it with kids before they're old enough to like hold on like you piggyback or mm, yeah. um so you know I think we've had people here do it from like six months up and then if you are wanting to use something like a woven wrap or a made eye or something and you're back carrying with a much littler baby that's a kind of a more one-on-one -on -one help that um you know a specialist consultant you can learn it from YouTube I'm sure um mm. But yeah, walk like an Egyptian is not suitable for really little babies. Then you need to do like Superman toss, where you kind of just like toss them somewhere. <laughs> it's very scary. I did try to learn it with a fake baby, and I was like, oh, I dropped the fake baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the yeah. sound of the toss and the baby in one sentence is not very reassuring. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and another question I didn't ask is that. Someone asked, with the boba carriers, can you cross the straps? Some of the eggs you can? With the eggs you can. Um, no, it doesn't really work that well with little babies, but with a, with a heavier baby, the cross is nice. But the um, the straps on a boba eggs, they were designed based off um, tramping, kind of hiking packs and really ergonomic. So you can see they've got quite a curve to them, which makes, back, makes just the normal... Um, H position really super comfy so if I'm um, fitting that Boba X onto people I would just say use that position for the straps rather than the cross because this is really comfortable um, once you get into crossing that it's a little bit funny because of the curve mm. um, this carrier has got fixed buckles you can't cross the straps both of the big big ones you can yeah someone said thank you for always taking time to share your knowledge and love thank you mm. So thank you so much for watching. It's sorry to have been such a long time since we've done a carrier live. And sorry about the technical too. Um, oh, I don't know what happened you. there. No, no, no. Yeah. But anyway, Who thank knows? you and we wish you a happy um, Easter that's filled with lots of chocolate. The Easter bunny has arrived here today. We're all going to be eating chocolate all day. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. <laughs>